Hey guys, it's Kristen from Printable Cuttable Creatables. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and unzip SVG files on your iPad or iPhone without a third-party app. This video uses iOS 13, which added the ability to unzip files directly within the Files app. In previous iOS versions, you needed a third-party app such as iZip to extract files, but now we can unzip in just a tap without installing any third-party apps. As you can see, I'm using an iPad, but the steps are exactly the same for iPhones. So I've just placed an order for some SVG files and the download links are here on the confirmation page. Just tap the download link and a pop-up appears asking, do you want to download this file? When you click download, it may seem like nothing happened, but if you look in the top right of the browser, you can see this little download icon has appeared. If you click this icon, you'll see a list of your recently downloaded files. Instead of downloading each file in this order one by one, you can choose to bulk download all files in a single zip using this download all files button. When you tap this button, you'll see the same pop up. Click download and you'll see the download icon bounce up and down at the top of the screen. When you tap the icon, you'll see the new file has been added to the list. When you click on one of these files, it'll take you to the location where it was saved in the files app. Here you can see both zip files that were just downloaded. To unzip, just tap on a file and a new blue folder will appear right above it. Tap on the blue folder to see all the files inside. You can even tap to preview the actual SVG files. Let's go back to the bulk download folder and tap that to unzip it as well. Inside are the individual zip files for each design in my order. Just tap each one to unzip it and again the blue folders will appear above each zip file. Tap any of the blue folders to take a look at the files inside and preview the SVG files. So now let's say you didn't have a chance to download right away from the order page. You can also download files from an email link the same way. Open up your email and pull up the receipt from your order. When you click on the link, it will open up in the browser and you'll see the same pop-up asking if you want to download the file. Click download and the same download icon appears at the top right of the browser. Tap the file name and it will take you to the location where it was saved in the file app. So same as before, just tap the zip file and it will unzip. Tap the blue folder to see the files and tap the SVG files to take a look at them. If you're not sure where your downloads are being saved within the Files app, you can head to Settings, scroll down to Safari, and tap Downloads. And you'll see the current location where your files are saving. You can change where the files are saved by choosing any of the other folders, either directly on your device or in your iCloud Drive. You can even create a new folder if you want. Personally, I prefer to save files to my iCloud Drive, which makes it very easy to access them from my phone and my Mac. After you've downloaded and unzipped your SVG files, they're ready to upload into your cutting software, which is super easy now that they're unzipped and we know where to find them. If you're a Cricut user, I'll explain in my next video how to open SVG files in the Design Space app. 